Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of the Rehoboth Beach Writers Guild Song and Story on Saturday morning. This is our final edition for the summer. We did five of these in the month of July. We'll be back again in a month or two in the fall. But today we're going to have a reading from Lisa Graff and it's a song chosen by our own Mary Beth Fisher who while she cannot carry a tune in a wheelbarrow, she's very good at picking out songs. So here we go. Let's hear from Lisa. Thank you, Stuart. We are emerging like cicadas now, ready to sing songs. We want to parade our faces, smile at strangers, discuss the hardships, and admit there were positives in the last year. The virus prompted me to stop making excuses about finishing a novel I began in January 2020 in Mary Beth's writing class. Novel class, I guess. Eight chapters were complete with feedback and encouragement from the Guild, and seven months later, up in the sky so blue. Not gathering, <clears throat> excuse me, with the Rehoboth Beach Writers Guild was a huge loss, despite the online presence. So I used the time to read more books. Mary Beth once told me that a good book could inspire her to write, and this happened to me. I finished reading Let the Great World Spin by Colin McCann, and I'll read it again. I've never purchased a book before for the purposes of highlighting, but I'm gonna buy it and just become a college kid again. Wikipedia tells me the book won the 2009 U.S. National Book Award for Fiction and the 2011 International Dublin Literary Award, which is one of the most lucrative literary prizes in the world. Its title comes from a poem called The Loxley Hall by Alfred Lloyd Tennyson. The story is interspersed with fictional accounts of Philippe Petit's 1974 tightrope walk between the ten Twin Towers, the date of which the two main events of the novel occur, a fatal car crash and a trial. Last year was a trial, and it felt like walking a tightrope, a balancing act between angst and faith. And I'm thinking that these two words describe the writing process. It's a scary venture and daunting to finish. We endure editing, self-publishing, and promotion, and there's no turning around, is there? Colin McCann has inspired me to write a third novel. I have no idea what I'm gonna write about, but my imagination is boundless. Blue skies above. Thanks, Lisa. And now we're gonna do our song, which was chosen by Mary Beth Fisher. It was written by Irving Berlin in 1926, and it's called Blue Skies. Here it comes. Blue skies smiling at me Nothing but blue skies do I see Nothing but bluebirds all day long. I never saw the sun shining so bright. Never saw things going so right. Noticing the days hurrying by. When you're in love, my Nothing but blue skies 